Hi, I'm Tom and welcome. Welcome to High Five, the show with different aspects, spanning different eras, different people. I have a jam-packed show for you today. Woo-wee! Man, is it jam-packed, full of information, full of different things of what I've been doing, what I've been up to, and different topical issues. As many of you know, many times I'm all over the place. Different places, different venues, filming, meeting people, family, friends, parties, clubs, and things like that. Mary Ann, what have we got today? And I've got a lot for you today. Here's what's in store in this show. Okay, kicking off with Martial Arts Illustrated. As you know, I've been in newspapers and magazines for many years, especially Martial Arts Illustrated. One of the articles is which is in this issue, which is June. Also, the following issue, which is July's issue, my daughter Jemima McKenzie has an article on karate. Don't forget to get your copy and order your copies online. Also online available is a digital version of Martial Arts Illustrated. Don't forget audio copy and keep up to date with all that is happening. Hi. Keeping along with the martial art theme and MAI, of course there is also the Martial Arts Hall of Fame which is hosted by Martial Arts Illustrated, which was held in Staffordshire, which was attended by celebrities and also fellow martial artists. The best bits of the day wasn't receiving my awards for which I'm very proud of, but the actual highlight of the day is actually meeting a lot of new key people and also making new friends. Great night, great personality, great colleagues, great to end. Still the number one magazine, out now. Now on to TV. I was interviewed by BBC News and Weather presenter Des about the changing face of Nottingham and all the stores and retail business, how it's all changed. Des, who also appeared in EastEnders, has a new channel on Freeview, Channel 8. I'll keep you posted. That's a thumbs up to that. Everyone keeps asking me what's happening with a new police series that I star in. It's a six part series. Now although we've shot two series, basically it's been revamped. New equipment, new gear, so it all has to be reshot. The long and short of it is, it's all down to politics and red tape, which means Changes in policies and procedure, which means everything will have to be reshoot again, rescheduled. But never mind, the new series will be out soon. It's all down to funding yet again. We're scheduled to shoot the new series as soon as possible. I'll keep you updated. On to martial arts. Emil Martirosian Jeet Kune Do Martial Arts School. Ever so often, Emil will invite me down as guest to demonstrate and to show his students the style and the art of Jeet Kune Do exactly how I was taught, old school way, in the 70s. It's an honour to be invited to showcase and teach the way I was taught by Danny Nisanto in the early 70s. Emil's one of the fastest exponents out there and it's such an honour to meet up and train with his students. In future, we should be pulling out some key students for some film and martial art work. I was honoured and thankful to meet Scott Welsh, the professional key boxer. Scott Welsh was the main boxer in the film Snatch who fought Brad Pitt in the end. Scott kindly aided and helped us to make our small project, thanks to Emil's friend and colleague Scott. While keeping in line with the professional boxing theme, 
Every time I go to Brighton and London, we meet up with our friend and professional boxer, Chris Eubanks. Chris always meets up with us, have the laugh, and always shares some boxing tips with us. What a great friend he is. And moving on to the main martial artist, Bruce Lee. This picture was signed for me by Bruce Lee's sister, Phoebe Lee. Give me a special video message. Hello, hi. How are you? Um, we are happy together and I hope you'll be here and next year sometime, sometime and any, anytime. Uh, I wish we, we get together. We will have a good Chinese food. Okay, bye bye. You take care. Bye bye. Moving on from Bruce Lee's style and sister to another great style, the art of back mei. Emil Martrosin trains in this style of back mei by Master Man Yi. When I went down to Brighton, luckily I was invited along with Emil to do a demonstration with the back mei team. It was a honour to meet the students and also finally meet Master Man Yi in back mei and also Michael and all the rest of the colleagues. It was a honour to do the demonstration with the Mill Martyrosian. It was awesome. What a fantastic day it was. And I advise everybody to also take up the style of Back May. Master Man Yi is a very nice, serious and also humorous funny man who made me laugh. Here's a few clips of the demonstration. Full footage and the clip of our demonstration will be uploaded soon. Watch his face. As well as loving the Chinese style and culture, we also love the Chinese food and all the time we wine and dine at different Chinese restaurants all over. Many times we ask to film inside or outside the restaurant but that comes at a price. They either ask us to do a demonstration or, as in this case, the restaurant owner decided to give us a demonstration in his own martial arts. What a privilege. Arthur gave his unique demonstration, and Mill and myself gave a demonstration as well. But it was filmed by his wife on her iPad. I'm still awaiting that footage. But their great food and hospitality made up for that loss. Now here is some rare unique footage of myself at age 14 and 15 doing my martial arts. For you idiots out there who said I haven't been doing martial arts or Jeet Kune those years, well, here's some rare footage. Since 1974 and 75, I've been doing filming and martial arts. Also trained in the style of Jeet Kune Do, and this is very rare 8 mm film footage, not even seen by my own family. There you go, unique vintage footage. There are actually over 300 photographs and over 8 hours of 8mm film footage waiting to be transferred onto digital. And if there's a lot of interest, I will upload them. So more to come soon. And that's all from me in this edition of High Five. Don't forget, there's more editions coming soon. Oh, I forgot. Thanks, Marianne. I forgot. We shot a pilot called Conflict, which we shot, which is Hong Kong based. Don't forget to look out and watch that footage. Thank you. Thank you, Marianne. I'm Clive McKenzie. Thanks for joining me. Until next time in the next show. Take care.